I said I have some major issues with turning or I wouldn't call them major, just some major suggestions while turning because Lego provides us built into the Spike Prime something super cool and you have an attachment, a little sensor that you can put on your EV3s called a gyroscope that will make your turning life a dream if you do this. Here we go. Okay, so we're in the program environment and you can see that there's some funky stuff going on in, in this code. And what this funky stuff does is it makes the robot turn exactly, exactly 90 degrees or 45 degrees or 47 degrees within a margin of error. These are Lego robots. They're not precision instruments. So we leave a little cushion and I'm gonna show you what, what that means. So if I wanted the robot to turn, I could say, uh, let's just say go forward, move forward for one rotation and then turn. I have a my blocks. I'm going to turn 90 degrees. So I have my turn by gyro 90 degrees. And if I play this, the robot's going to turn 90 degrees. Now, it's not perfect. No Lego robot is perfect. So let's talk about this right here. This is what we call a function. And it's a function makes our code easier if some, we wanna do something over and over and over and over again. That we can just take all these blocks and condense it down to one block with called the, the turn that I'm calling the turn by gyro. Now in this robot and uh, in uh, EV3s, there's a connector, there's like a, something that you can plug into the sensor port called a gyroscope. If I open the hub, I can see that right here I have some readings. Now, one is a yaw, one is pitch, and one is roll. Let's think of an airplane, all right? Yaw uh, turns side to side. So if I turn the robot side to side, you can see that number change. If I turn it to the right, it changes to positive. If I turn it to the left, it changes to negative. Okay, so in an airplane, it's the same way, all right? Yaw is left and right. And then there's pitch, which is in the airplane, if you pull up on the sticks, your pitch tilts. You can see the pitch go up when I tilt it up. You can see the pitch go down if I tilt it down. If you ever do that in first Lego league, props to you, because that's super cool. Uh, and then there's roll. And if I roll the robot from side to side, you can see that number change. Now, what we're actually telling the robot to do is to use the yaw. So, if I, if I put this code in and I'm saying, okay, no matter where you're at yaw, go back to zero, zero, go to zero. And then I'm saying, I want you motors to start moving at speed 10 all right, so this would be this would be the uh, left wheel. This would be the right wheel. Okay, speed ten multiplied by the degrees divided by the absolute value of degrees. That's just some fancy math stuff that makes you only have one block turning block. And then, so the degrees is going to start counting. It's going to start counting. It's going to go, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way get till it gets to to ninety. And this block right here is the magic block right here. It says, wait until the absolute value of the yaw angle. That is this. When the absolute value of the yaw angle, what's an absolute value? An absolute value is just the distance from zero, a number is. So right now, our absolute value of yaw to zero, the distance from zero is 59. What if it was, can I get it negative 59? I just had it. There we go. 
What's the absolute value of negative 59? Well, how far away is it from zero? It's 59 things, units, counts, numbers away from zero. So the absolute value of any number is just that number positive, whether it's a negative number or not. So positive 59, technic not technically, but it's 59. The absolute value of, of negative 59 is 59. So what we're telling this block to do is to say, okay, angle, you're going to start counting, robot, until your yaw gets to more than the absolute value of the degrees that I plugged in. So if I say 90, okay, yaw, you're going to go to 91 and then stop. So, so it's, it's almost perfect, almost perfect. And what this does is no matter what happens with the robot, whether the tire's dirty, whether whatever, it, it, something gets in the way, it slips, it makes it go 90 degrees, no matter what. It's gonna keep turning till the robot says, I turn the amount that my programmer told me to turn, which is awesome, super cool. So I could say 45 right here, and I could say, go like that, then turn 45, and it'll turn a 45. Could reset the robot. Now, here's the really cool part, and that's what this math does right here. Uh, and I'm not necessarily gonna explain it. However, if I type in negative 45, it's gonna turn to the left. Negative 45 degrees. All right, so if you type in negatives, it's gonna to turn to the left. If you type in positives, it's gonna to turn to the right. And uh, it is, that's a super cool feature that Lego Education has provided to us using a function for turning. Now, uh, what if it's a little bit off and it happens? That's okay. That's why this is here. So say it just turns a little too far each time, you could say minus one. So the absolute value of yaw angle is greater than the absolute value of degrees minus one. So it's gonna take a little bit off of the turn. So if you noticed before, if I do this, and I say I want you to turn 90 degrees, it's not perfect 90. It's a little bit more than 90, and that's okay. The, brain of the, the Spike Prime or the EV3 is working the best that it can. But you have to be smarter than that and say, okay, well, I'm gonna say, well, minus one or 1 1.5 or whatever works for your robot. And this number shouldn't ever change. It should be universal to no matter the degrees that you want, all right? So that's still a little bit too much for my robot here. Every robot's different. Yours will be a little bit different. I'm gonna do 3.5, maybe that'll work. And your robot, it might be zero. That was pretty, pretty close. All right, so your robot might be zero. I'm not gonna keep adjusting the number, you can adjust your number, but pause this video, put this in your code every single time, all right? Make this function, and you do that by making a block. So make a block, and give it a name, turning. Save. And then I get my turning thing here and I can put this code underneath here and you can put that code underneath yours and uh, there you go, you have it. And put that in every single project that you do. So that is how you get a perfect turn. Well, almost perfect, because they're Lego, right? nothing's perfect. Within a margin of error, turn every single time, no matter what. So again, even if I run this, it starts to turn and I hold it, I'm holding it, I let it go, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep turning until the computer, the brain, in that spike prime reaches whatever you type in this Thing. It could be 30 degrees, it doesn't matter. It could be 31 and a half, it doesn't matter. Whatever you type in that 
thing. Now it only goes up to 180, so you could 179 uh, or 180, and then uh, negative 180 would be a left 180 turn. That's turning by a gyroscope. I, I think it's the best way to turn because you know no matter what happens, whether your wheel's dirty, it slips, whatever happens, it's going to turn the amount that you're asking of it every time within a margin of error. I mean, like I said, they're, they're not perfect. No Lego robot is perfect. That, that robot's not perfect. This robot's not perfect. Your robot's not perfect. So use that little margin of error where I said you can subtract or add whatever you need right there to make sure that your robot's turning. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's gonna turn a little bit too far and you're gonna have to subtract, but that's it. Next time, we're gonna talk about line following. And I'm gonna start filming that right now. So it should be soon. I'll see you then.